What's up, everybody? Welcome to Four Player Co op Live. We've got your favorite group of gamers here breaking down the latest and greatest in the gaming world. And as always, coming at you live. Uh, the intro is here. We've got uh, Chad. Hey, everybody. We've got Ryan. Hello, hello. Brian. Hey, yo. And myself, Cody. So, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, this is the first episode of Four Player Co op Live. This is a podcast devoted to all things gaming and. Uh, Big basis, uh, big emphasis on the live section here. We're going to be streaming every episode, and uh, community reaction is going to be big for us. So, uh, if you guys got any questions for us, if you guys uh, want to know anything or want us to expand upon anything, let us know as quick as possible. Hopefully, we can get it in this one. If not, then we'll try to slide some more into the next episode. So, uh, taking it right away here, uh, our first thing we're going to hit is release dates. So, Ryan, tell us what's coming up. Uh, well, what's coming up on July 22nd, which is just right around the corner, is the new Oddworld, new and tasty. Very classic game. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have played it in their youth and going on into their adult years. It's great to see the new franchise coming back. Uh, we also got a re remastered edition of The Last of Us, a very fantastic game that took Woo. the PlayStation 3 to, you know, its crown and glory and all that good jazz. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see this coming through. <laughs> and I see somebody is messing with the notes again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, and I just got updated, uh, you know, live. Uh, Destiny right. Beta will be coming out on the 15th, and that oh, will be... Oh, that's the 17th. 17th? Uh, it's... Uh, on so Thursday? My Destiny uh... Beta is on the 17th, my friend. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You're going to update hey, the stock live. You might want to update it with some personal <laughs> yeah. information. That's part of yeah. the fun here. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> rehash this. Rehash this. Rehash this. <laughs> Destiny Beta will be coming out July 17th. Uh, if you guys didn't get into the alpha like me, uh, you guys can jump in on the beta. This was only going out to uh, PlayStation 4 first, and following after that, I think it's, what was it, a few days later, it's going out for the Xbox One. Am I correct? Yeah. So, yeah, something like that. And it only runs to, what, like the 29th or something like that? 27th. Uh, yeah, only, oh, from like what I've been told, it's only open up for a couple of days, and it's going to close for a day for maintenance, if I'm correct, and then it's going to yeah. reopen again. I think right as it reopens again, it will be going to Xbox Live. So Now, this is this is an open beta, correct? Correct. Uh, no, this no. is the beta if you've pre-ordered or... Uh, I've done something with Destiny. You can go on their site to uh, like get into the beta themselves, but it's mainly for if you've pre-ordered Destiny itself, as far as I know. Okay. Okay. Or if your soul belongs to Bungie. <laughs> yeah, or if your soul belongs to Bungie, which you can have. They make great games. Yeah, I'm cool with that. <laughs> okay, but so so coming right out at a release date, then that's our last one. Uh, let's talk Destiny while we're here on the subject. Uh, Brian and Chad, this is for you guys. So. Uh, Tell me what it's about. Tell me what you're excited for, and uh, what's coming up next. Oh, this game's gonna be amazing. We yeah. already know it's amazing. Yeah. Played the alpha. Yeah. Played the alpha. Was like one of the lucky ones to get in on the alpha. That's right. Man, man. I gotta ask I, though. I didn't. I didn't. Haven't read too much about the alpha because I normally don't. If I'm really excited about a game, I don't really want to read too much into it and get spoiled. How did the alpha actually handle? Was it actually pretty stable? Oh, butter smooth. That's good. It it played better than Battlefield Three plays right now. <laughs> <laughs> Play, it played better at the alpha joke. launch for Destiny. It played better than the latest patch, Battlefield Four. That's ever that's, thought of being. Yeah, kind of sad. I, and, I, and I'd say even after I played Battlefield this week, it would still be on par or better than yeah, a I mean, game that's been out since November. Flawless. From my end, I mean, I don't, I can't speak for everyone, obviously, but I didn't have any trouble with that. I didn't have any troubles with like draw distance, extra pop in. I mean, there was a few little snafus here and there, little little weird things, those little small bugs, the way characters move around and stuff like that. But I mean, it was an alpha. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> give, give me give me broad strokes here for for people listening and for myself, people uneducated in what Destiny is. Give us an idea if you had to liken it to anything, or like, like I said, like broad strokes. Give me, give me an idea of what you're playing. It's a sci-fi first-person shooter. Um, it's the like with the alpha, it's hard to really, you know, go into it. They, in the alpha, they had a, like a kind of a free roam mode, which is going to be available in the beta and also in Far Reach, where you can just wander the map and 
you can do like little kind of little tiny side missions. Um, then they have um, like a PVP, which is called the Crucible. Um, and in the alpha, it was only one like a like a three flag domination, like um, team based, like uh, yeah. you know, as per like COD or Battlefield type gameplay. Um, then they had um, a mission, like a I don't know if you can class it like a raid, all like WoW or anything like that. It's like your your team goes in and and you have like it's a set set of objectives to go through to reach the final boss. I mean, I don't know. It was called Dragon's Lair, the the name of it. Um, yeah. I don't know if you call it a quest or what the. There is a term for it. Let me. Uh, yeah, I think we'll have to see it how it they, shakes out in the in the or even the, I guess even in the beta to see if because uh, you know I'm not sure if if uh, the free room area was something that's going to be consistent in the actual yes. game. Yeah, you know, is oh, there yeah. gonna be multiple of those, or just that one well, that keeps getting bigger? There's multiple areas. Like we only had, like in the in the alpha, there was only it was less than ten percent of the game. Yeah, and like the we only had like the free roam and the story mode and the it's called what's called a strike mission. They're all based in the one one area of of this one tiny portion of a map on on planet Earth, and there's gonna be like there's. Um, like the, I don't know if it's the whole planet Earth, but there's a large section of it. Then there's other planets that you can actually yeah. go to for other parts of maps yeah. like that are open world. But there's like there's story based. There's strike they call strike missions or what people would call raids. And then there's also one thing called the tower where you can go back where there's um where they're yeah, called which, like which is a lot like the uh, the Watchtower in DC Universe Online. If anybody's down with that, that's yeah. where you go to. Like spend your money and, and you know, all your weapons and all that good stuff. The best way I could describe this game is it's it's like a a love child from Halo and and the Borderlands game. Like you have the 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 running gun RPG shooter aspect of Borderlands and everything that comes with that, upgrading your character and finding new weapons and upgrading those and all that fancy stuff. But it it looks and and feels and plays butter smooth like Halo always has. Hmm. Interesting. And wow. uh, and 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 a quick just sum up here. There, this is rumored information. This isn't uh, like set in stone that I've read anywhere. But for the beta, um, so like according to rumors, there's going to be four story missions, more open world, and also four competitive maps, like for the uh, PvP and some and and one or more strike missions. Whether or not that's all true or not, I know the beta is going to be bigger than the alpha. So and like um, our good buddy uh, Jumbo Ness, uh, I'm also going to kind of limit my playing of the beta just not to not to really spoil the game, but I want to go into the, the launch on the 9th of September. Basically, you know, you're all I'm starting from scratch because the beta is not going to carry over, but I'd rather walk into the game knowing as little as possible about story and stuff as possible. So I'm probably going to do more free roam and, and probably play some more of the PvP stuff than doing story missions and strike missions i think myself yeah that's that sounds like they're offering up a lot for a beta i don't think but i've played I, any beta that's that's, that's, rumored, though. Like, that's yeah rumored, i mean so. if it is rumor if it's the truth or not i mean at the exact same time if they do decide to drop a lot of story content within the beta and they're really trying to push this game out there to get everybody's attention to it yeah well, well they've already said that this is going to be a three game series right well there's already two two pan two planned expansions there's they like they plan on working like from the devs from a slate interview I saw was they're talking about having people creating content for this almost like on a round the clock basis. So there's always yeah, I mean, going to be trying to turn this into the next Halo universe type thing. Right. Yeah. Mm. I mean, they're, 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 this this game is like basically going to be their their IP. Like this is what they're going to be known for going forward from the Halo series once they once they sold that off to 343 Studios. So, I mean, this is like, this is their Halo for everybody, I guess, in, in a sense. Yeah. Like, this is going to be their universe. From what I understand, like, from, from the little bit of development uh, interview I yeah. saw. So, well, my I, I'm was stoked. A, like, like the, the, alpha, uh, the alpha got me to pre-order, so. <laughs> yeah, same here, man. I played the alpha for about two hours, and I—I I mean, I played it way more than that. But after two hours, I was like, "Click, gonna go ahead and get that on digital <laughs> download immediately." <laughs> uh, I'll, ha 
I'll have to um, see if I can get my hands on a beta code or something and try it yeah. out. Cause I think I've got right two now, coming to me. I'll give you one. Yeah. As, as of right now, I just I ha- haven't seen anything that's really grabbed my attention. I mean, it, it looks gorgeous from everything I've seen. Everybody's raving about it just from the alpha. And it seems like it's incredibly ambitious. Uh, now, I did enjoy the Halo franchise, but Borderlands was something I didn't really get into. Um so I I don't know I think I'll I'll give it a shot. But yeah. As of now I'm I'm a completely neutral party. So yeah. Um, and I still wanna... stand firm by my my opinion that if you if you look past the cartooniness of Borderlands and like the actual <laughs> game itself is really deep and really engaging. It's it's a really fun game to play. I just play it because of the comedy. It's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean they they put a lot of they put a lot of thought into it. It's not just your your everyday shooter. Hmm. Right. All right. Well, uh, it's interesting. That's good information, and um, hopefully we'll get some updates here after the beta drops, and um, you guys get some playtime on that, and let us know how it's progressing. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, so moving on here, sure. and um, a throwback to the release dates. One of the other things we mentioned was uh, the Last of Us, the PS4 remastered edition on July 29th. Uh, I am extremely excited for that. I think that was. Um, that was easily one of the most remarkable games that I had ever played, and a lot of the community would agree with me. So, um, with massive sales and rave critic reviews, it was inevitable, really, that we thought it was going to come to PS4, and then they confirmed it. So, uh, it's right around the corner here. We're looking at July 29th, so just a couple more weeks, and we'll have it uh, all in our hands. So, I, I'm excited to revisit it. I don't know how excited you guys are, but I'm uh, I'm extremely happy that I can get back into this world on next gen you know yeah i don't blame oh, you um, it's it's it was a day one purchase on ps3 and it's a day one purchase on ps4 no yep. brainer what i'm excited about is that uh this remastered edition that you should kn- know and mention is that this is actually going to come with all the dlcs so it means you're going to get all yes. the uh multiplayer stuff and you're going to get the one story DLC the left behind which this is the reason why I'm going to play it. I played Last of Us on PlayStation 3, loved it, but got caught up in too many other games where I couldn't go back and play uh the left behind DLC. So I'm definitely going to do yeah, that on this that's one. That's a motivator for me as well. I I think that uh the game itself is it's one of the few games that I would buy twice, you know, like it really was that good. So um for me, it it kind of hurt, you know, trading it in when I I got rid of all my PS3 stuff because, you know, it was it was something that I I didn't want to get rid of even if I wasn't going to play it again. I just I wanted to just to have it. Like it it really was really was that special to me. So um, that they're releasing it on PS4 is is great. I'm thrilled. So with it being updated, they they updated textures and uh, and character models and environments. They 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 really really touched it up from everything that they've told us. It's running in at 60 frames per second, 1080p. So um, I'm really excited and I'm really happy. So uh, that's that's one thing that I'm definitely going to be playing here coming up shortly in the next couple of weeks. Um, in other news, what we've got uh, here. Just recently read that uh, Microsoft revealed the price for Connect Two uh, for PC. It's going to be one hundred and ninety nine dollars uh, American dollars. Um, any thoughts on this, guys? As any, opposed anything? to what rupees or <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to euros, because that was actually the first listed price was euros. Really? <laughs> yeah. Microsoft. Well, is this like going to be like a dev kit for PCs, or is this something that you know no, that you can? Is, this is Connect Two in in whatever use that they deem fit uh for your pc well that's stupid <laughs> because they, they yeah, just Microsoft. they just removed the the one of the biggest things the xbox to the xbox one was that they you know people hated which they had the right to that the connect shouldn't have been in the box because people don't use it once they made it useless nobody wanted it and it was just an extra piece uh which brought the xbox down from 500 dollars to like four something I believe I don't know the, I don't have the price on me. Same price as the PS4 now. Is it is it the same price? And yeah. yet though they're saying that the Connect Two for PC alone is two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> Excuse me, but I mean that's expensive as hell. That's very expensive. It is, and there's been a dev kit out for the original Connect for PC for a long time. Well, I know yeah. I know that because there's like tons of people out there making like cool little programs using the Connect uh, and the Connect Two, but. That's just like I don't yeah, see so me using any games. That's 
I can spend an additional hundred dollars and get an Oculus. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know. It it seems like a really, really expensive webcam that can follow you as you walk around a room, maybe. (laughs) It's 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 seeing the the dark, track your muscle movements. NSA. Oh, yeah. Life cam cam Obama edition. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I I, I never really saw uh, any value, really, to the Kinect in the first place. Uh, and that's that's purely, you know, my opinion. I'm not into any of the motion gaming or anything like that. Like for me, I want to sit down. I want to relax. I, you know, I'll get involved in the games where, you know, I'll, I'll sit forward and I'll get tense or whatever. But like, as far as moving around to actually operate my game, no, I'm, I'm not interested at all. I think that uh, any of the motion control stuff is all just a gimmick. And uh, to pay that much for the PC installment of it, uh, to me, was just ludicrous. That's yeah, because how how many how many PC elitists are going to be jump around in their mom's basement? <laughs> well, it come to th- I mean, you got to think about this too. Is that uh, a lot of people who use PCs also do it for like home entertainment? Like they'll put their PCs on their TVs if they have like a small TV, sure. something like that. But at the exact same time, I mean, you're right. I mean, I don't know any game that I purchase would use motion controls for PC. Yeah. And I don't know if anyone's developed any games for motion controls. So. Basically, what Brian said, it's a two hundred dollar fucking webcam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's one of the things that I gave Microsoft some credit for was that when they announced that they were going to be putting a Connect Two in the box, it gave the developers a reason to develop it for it. And then when they turned around and yanked it away, all the people who were developing games for the Connect Two just went, "Well, there goes all our market share." So nah, I don't see why people would do this. So they only uh-huh. yanked it from the box because Sony was bitch slapping them all over the world on sales. <laughs> they had to do something. Sony True. was still bitch slapping them all over the world. Yeah. Did y'all see that? Did you see that on uh, E three at Sony's conference where they uh, where they went? We offer it to you at your choice. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's funny. I laughed exactly. at that. I, thought, well, I, I, mean, I read was... the other day that the X Bone is getting ready to go live in like another twenty or thirty countries or something like that. So I don't know. We might see that gap close a little bit. It's Maybe. it's like uh, two to one right now. But yeah. you know that. But you know, you know, an interesting tidbit about talking about E three about the uh, the launch of the consoles was last year when they announced consoles. There was a report online that they they rewrote part of the actual E three conference for Sony once they seen Mike, Microsoft could fucking run over by the 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 media and everything else, all the all the negativity and boost yeah. they got and dead air when they were announcing stuff. Don't eat smart, oh, man. Yeah. Well, mean, there I'm was. Sure I, think, I think somebody somewhere got paid specifically to capitalize on that shit. Yeah. Well, well were... if I remember correctly, that was the the two guys. I, I the names escape me, but I think the specific thing that you're that you're talking about right now is when you remember, like they made the the YouTube video. The little you, yeah, about there. sharing the game. Yeah, oh, about yeah. this is how you share your game, and he hands it to the other guy. Yeah. yeah. That was, I think, the unscripted thing that they they capitalized right on. That was in the behind the scenes at uh, at E3 yeah. is where they did that. Okay, but let's I mean, make a let's make a little disclaimer here, real quick, too. Is uh, that m- most of the people here are PC and PlayStation Four gamers? But, yes. Yes. But uh, I mean, we have nothing really against Microsoft and the Xbox. I look, yeah. I'm actually looking forward to getting an Xbox One when I can come across the spare funds to get one because they plan to offer a lot of good exclusive games, but. I mean, you just got to look at their track record. I mean, since the Xbox One has been announced, yeah. that they just just, just it's, screw it's up just and mess up after. It's abysmal marketing yeah. the entire time. Yeah. And there hasn't been anything announced for the Xbox One yet that's made me like commit to saving money to put towards it. No, yeah, I mean, I mean uh, I've actually got my list for titles for the next year, and I barely see any Xbox One titles uh, you know, exclusively on this list. And it's and, it's sad. Another, another thing is, too, I mean, there's there's some good points of the the X phone with with the Connect and the way it, it integrates and the voice commands for running media like that. Some of that is pretty interesting, but it doesn't appeal to everybody. Yeah, I mean, no. it, it it works on some levels, and it, I think it's pretty innovative and it's kind of cool. But and then it doesn't work against it. You know, it goes against like most people. Like I don't sit in front of my TV and when I go sit down and watch a TV show to worry about my Microsoft camera seeing my face and hearing my voice. I pick up my remote, press play. You know, it's, it's fucking easy. It doesn't have to worry about yeah. voice commands. 
You don't have to worry about someone walking in the room and saying Xbox off and your fucking console turn off on you and all that shit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> trolls yeah. and, and whatnot. I don't know. I mean, they, I know they fix that stuff. I mean, I know people are going to say, oh, they fix that. That doesn't happen anymore. Oh, but, yeah? Let's, let's yeah. try it. Hang on. Xbox off. Yes. <laughs> Got them. <laughs> right. I can just almost hear the people viewers. unsubscribing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just lost viewers. Thanks, well, I, this is this is the thing for me. Microsoft, I think, uh, with the Connect, from a technological standpoint, it's impressive. You know, the, the technology, I, I can see a value to it, but it it has always seemed since the first Connect and with uh, Xbox 360, it's just been shoehorned in there. Like somebody in upper management at Microsoft is like, I want this to happen, so make it happen. Not because I think it's, I, I just think most gamers just don't value it. I think no. the technology is impressive, but at the end of the day, a lot of us just don't want to j- fucking jump around in front of our TV to play our video games. You That's know? True. No, I mean, I play video games because yeah. I want to, because I'm comfortable. I yeah. mean, I'm sitting in and a chair, reclined, you know, yeah. full 90. The, the video game no. experience doesn't involve jumping jacks for me. I'm sorry. I, me just, I'm, I don't want that. That's not no, for me. me neither. And, and again, with the, the voice commands and everything, and with the Connect 2 being updated, uh, you know, again, a lot of that is impressive from a technical standpoint, but I'm not going to rush out to buy the system so I can talk to my TV. Yeah. I, I'll hit play. Bring, bring it to me when I can act like Tom Cruise and Minority Report on my computer. <laughs> when, when we get there, I'll, I'm down. I'll buy one. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll definitely. I'll pick up a second job so I can go Minority Report. But <laughs> reminds me of I... that, uh, that movie Gamer, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. One. So, yeah. Uh, lots of interesting thoughts. I was figuring that was going to go somewhere, and I'm happy that uh, we're all pretty much on the same page too. So that's pretty good. All right, too so, expensive. Uh, yeah, too expensive, and and really just not necessary. Um, all right, so Chad, take us through some of the the recent Battlefield news. Oh, we're talking about Battlefield on the podcast. Uh, yeah, bring back go again. Some, bring back memories. <laughs> some good, some bad. Some some inebriated as fuck too. <laughs> A lot of them inebriated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just drinking water tonight though. I'm not even. I'm not even on the bottle. I'm just on the, yeah, I'm hey, I'm drinking. Uh, I'm drinking something new that I haven't tried before. Pepsi with vanilla in it. It's pretty good. Where are you, you know? You what? know what? It's I thought that was discontinued. Nope. What? Nice. I gotta keep. Come down to Alabama and get you some. This stuff's good. Yeah, you're gonna have to ship me some get of that. You, uh, put you uh, some vanilla Morgan Coke is the shit. It is. It is. Yeah. Like Anyways, Coke. we're we're yeah we're, we're not we're not a, <laughs> we not digress. A, yeah. We're not a soda pop podcast here. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, it's good stuff yeah, though. So <laughs> Battlefield Four, Dragon's Teat. We're not even calling it Dragon's Teeth. Teat. <laughs> oh. Brian, 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 our good buddy here. He re- recoined it, and I'm sticking with it. it's Dragon's Teat. Teat. That's right. Um, coming out on the 15th. That's the, that's the release date. I think you got confused earlier. Was uh, the, the DLC comes out on the 15th, which is uh, right around the corner, or maybe today, depending on when you're listening to this podcast. But I'm just going to give a quick few points. It says here, four new multiplayer maps set in Asian cities. We got uh, Lumpini Garden, which I'm just going to call... <laughs> Um, melanoma garden because it's it's uh you know we always recoin the map names and it's it's a lumpy uh so it's getting renamed to melanoma garden <laughs> it's catchy uh, yeah hey there you go the next one up is uh, pearl market which is pearl necklace uh, <laughs> uh, of course uh, the next one is propaganda which hey it's it's propaganda and bullshit is what dice is all about recently so we're just gonna that oh, shots fired that's fired <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, the poor, the, the poor, the poor, the poor incompetent field. developers of dice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then sunken dragon, which hey, they're drowning already, so they're done. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's so, not shots so fired. That's more like a failure. cannon going off. Yeah, I, I, I fired a straw right in their fucking office door. <laughs> <laughs> now the laugh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. The MBT law that we're yeah. shoulder firing again. So, Maybe, so what's uh, what's different about this expansion then? There's five weapons, all new to Battlefield Four, and I don't have a list in front of me, but I know there's uh, two new handguns. And oh yeah, Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle 44, <laughs> the Uni- Unica 6. 44. I think it's, it's not even the 50. No, nah, it's Desert Desert 44. Fucking man. <laughs> <laughs> um, then there's a, a sniper rifle and a new assault rifle. Um, 
don't know a lot about it yet. Um, I'll get my hands on it Tuesday and, and play it up. But uh, then there's also a ballistic shield. There's been so much talk about this thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It, it just seems like a fucking gimmick. And then the all-new battle pickup called the RAR, a heavily armed and remotely operated ground vehicle. And then there's also a new, also a new game type called Chain Link, where you have to link your capture points in order to win the game. Huh. So I'm looking forward to giving it that a try. That could be interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking Easter forward to it. Yeah, ten new assignments and all with uh, unlocks, so you get more camos. Yeah. <laughs> guys, play. Uh, 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 don't don't like shame me out of here. Did you guys ever play Modern Warfare Two? Yeah, of course. I so, did not. Uh, do you remember yeah. uh, the the map terminal? Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of Death one of our hallway. favorite things. Yeah, in the uh, the airport. Yeah. One of our favorite Old things school. to do was play a, a custom game mode called Hot Gates with that, and we would uh, we would get riot shields and get back in that that metal detector area where there was you could only walk through the uh, the metal detectors. We would stand in there with riot shields and then throw grenades at the enemy team, or just stand there until the enemy team. Like came looking for us. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was pretty fun. I don't know. I gotta figure out some kind of way to troll people with these riot shields. I we'll have I to see, find a room somewhere. I <laughs> see something. I see something coming up for us to do that. It sounds like an idea. I think the can, troll. Can you kill somebody with it? Oh can yeah, you probably. You can probably. Yeah. Cod, you could. Yeah, you could just melee them. Hopefully, hopefully because that carries. I think they, I think somebody yeah, actually has done a video like on the new DLC, and he actually does like a like a lunge, like a small lunge, so you can like beat him to death with the riot shield. Huh. Yeah. Let's now that sounds like fun. I might, might if, have to might have to work on that one assignment, whatever it we is. Have to, to, uh, we have to work to on get the phalanx. Phalanx <laughs> yeah, That's what I was, I, I'm already envisioning gladiator mode. Right. <laughs> Everyone with shields and knives. Like 300, all in yep. a circle, protecting <laughs> one guy who's only got a knife or something. There you go. There you something. go. Oh, and uh, to roll to roll on through, because uh, to a little bit more of Battlefield news, uh, yet again they're trying to uh, appease the masses, and they're giving us called uh, a thing for now. It's a month long ordeal called Battlefest. Yay! Yay! Excited? Are you excited? I'm not. Can't, can't Yay. I'm, I'm what, trying what's really in hard to give a fuck, and I gotta tell yeah, you, it's, free, it's not working. Free camo unlocks. Oh, camos, yes. Double oh, XP. Fuck yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> more XP that I've always got tons of. Yeah. Um, well, you gotta get the max rank. Come on now. Um, Shit. <laughs> and there's community <laughs> missions. Each week, they'll be hosting a global community challenge uh, to reach a specific goal in game. So, probably like a million kills or some stupid stuff right um and probably give us battle packs but there's also yeah. this is this is kind of interesting um the stunt video competition this is a month-long contest we're asking us to send us your best stunt video that can only be done on battlefield 4 send once you receive this mission line. send it send it now yeah, <laughs> yeah i can see like the commercials grade. again only in battlefield i was able to try, take an atv and blah 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 yeah, it's going to be Stun Gravy and Pony like Line are going to win those, that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was, that's about to say. It's like, and there's out. like, like yeah. some. So like, they're 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 uh, the dice team will pick top twelve, and then you, the fans, will vote on the top three winners. So if it does happen to be any YouTubers making it to the top, you're going to see the YouTuber win it. But unfortunately, but yeah, I yeah. mean, they're doing something for the community. I mean, that that stunt video thing is kind of something interesting um, to get uh, people doing something it, different, I guess. But I have to disagree I, already with that statement. I have to but, say the community is doing something for them. <laughs> well, they true. want us to make the videos. They're not doing anything. They flip a well, switch and we get double XP and then uh, they give us free, some fucking camos. Free camos? Come on. Oh, Come God. On, Cody, you're excited. You want to. You wanna... <laughs> I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I am. Uh, I'm salivating yeah, for more camos. I, hey, I'm, I'm I, curious I, as to what this massive prize is going to be. Uh, they're. There's Probably a pat on the right. back and a, and a good job. Battlefield yeah. premium. Actually, a, 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 a beta code for Battlefield 5. Yeah, a beta, a beta, beta, a, a, for hardline. Hardline, yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, they're giving away, yeah. they're actually giving away some AM, AMDs involved in this. They're actually giving away, I think, a couple of gaming PCs and even a few video cards. So, uh, see, there's, so for console for players, that does what? Well, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, <laughs> a video card. Turns I mean, us into Master Race players. Yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's, the, discussion, the discussion of the day was about, well, it's, it's why they're just giving away PC stuff. Well, 
what are they going to give away? Unless, unless they get Sony and, and Microsoft involved to give away controllers, that's the only thing they can do. So better than well, nothing. They, they can give out some merchandise or something. I think there's. I think you can win also. Um, it's every day. But isn't also in Battlefield 4 commonly played on a $50 PC? $50 gift card to the Dice Store and yeah. Battlefield 4 premium membership on the platform of their choice. Yeah. Every day. So they're giving away, yeah. So, I mean, there's daily winners for graphic cards. What would I buy in the Dice Store? Battle <laughs> a Battlefield 4 t shirt. A, a new patch. To all your friends. <laughs> a new patch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amber, to hit yourself in the face for buying the fucking beer. <laughs> 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 and when you're done beating yourself senseless, send it to my house and I'll fucking do the same. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right. The, co- this, the this community a, club. This yeah. isn't the Battlefield. So I know, uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I bit the bullet and had to talk about Battlefield. I think I deserve a cookie. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll bake you one. All right, so uh, we'll move it on then. Uh, we'll switch switch gears here. Uh, Ryan, take us through comparisons with uh, H1Z1 and DayZ. Well, this is more like not comparison. This is something um, I've been seeing all over, you know, like DayZ and the and H1Z1, which is a new kind of MMO survival kind of DayZ zombie clone. game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's what they they're they're branding it as um, as a DayZ clone. And the real reason I'm talking about it is because um, I want to mention something about it is because uh, even though H1Z1 doesn't have a re- release date yet. It's eventually going to be coming out. It's coming out here pretty soon. They said they, they got plans for a pre-alpha launch, and it's going to go into beta, and then it's going to go out for marketing. And I've been just seeing people just constantly dogging H1Z1, uh, saying that it's just another knockoff game. But the main reason I really wanted to talk about it is because uh, H1Z1, uh, unlike DayZ, is going to be coming out onto consoles. It's going to be coming out to PlayStation 4 exclusively. Which is really cool because DayZ, since it's basically a DayZ clone, um, was a game that was just like taking the world by storm, uh, and it was just announced as this awesome game. Uh, a lot of top end people were were raving about it, saying that this is like the best game they've played all year. You know, it's won tons of like uh, mod get mod rewards and all these crazy things. Uh, but I, I'm just I was just so off-putting about this because people are getting so upset about the game when it's almost exactly the same it's like trying it's like like two bottles of water like comparing two bottles of water you know and it's like why are you doing that i mean it's gonna be the same game only thing that's gonna be different about the games is how they look and how they're gonna present them to the community so it's just weird it's just it's just seeing how the gaming community is just getting just awkward these days and that's mainly. I, I don't reason. know. I would say, uh, from from a perspective, not involved with either one really. I mean, I I, I do support Daisy. I've bought it on Steam, uh, to support the developer. Uh, but between the two games, I mean, I can see if it's the exact same game. I mean, you you just made the comparison: two bottles of water. Why would we have another one if we already have one? Well, the thing about though is that H one Z one. Uh, like I said, it's coming. They haven't given an official, you know, date on it. They've just said soon, which means they could be here in the next few months. And they're like I said, they're planning on doing a paid alpha launch, like they did with DayZ with the standalone. Yeah. Uh, but apparently, this alpha launch is going to be a lot farther ahead than what DayZ is at, because there's a bigger team behind H1Z1. Okay. Uh, which in H1Z1 you're going to have. Right at the gate, at the Alpha, they already said you're going to have base building, you're going to have working vehicles, uh, and tons of more little options, um, cool dynamics and stuff like that. Um, and that's basically where it's at. That's what I'm saying is, is that H1Z1 uh, is promising a lot more at launch than what DayZ is at now. Okay. DayZ standalone, I should say. Right. So. The The only thing that I would see as a qualifier... Like as an important enough reason to make a different game is if DayZ was saying that they would never come to consoles. Um, so the fact that H1Z1 is going to make its way to PS4 to me that's exciting. Yeah, and, and from and that that's positive points for me. Yeah, and this is rumored. I, I haven't read anything to confirm this. Uh, it's just from people that I've reading on Reddit, uh, from people doing YouTube videos on H1Z1. Uh, but a lot of people do believe since it's running on the Planet Side Two engine 
which is Planet Side 2 is a free to play game and which it's also currently on PC and it's going to be coming to PlayStation 4 here in the near future. Uh, they think that's going to be a free to play game, just like Planet Side 2 is. That would be sweet. So yeah, you don't, that would be nice. And I don't know how that it would go about in the game, what kind of in game transactions, what it's going to give you, and stuff like that. Because they've already mentioned that H1Z1 is going to be leaps and bounds in difficulty because it isn't going to be like in DayZ where DayZ you can go and it's easy like in DayZ you could be fully geared to take on a you know anybody in DayZ within a few hours um versus H1Z1 uh they said it's going to take you days if not like actual physical days to get bases built get to get find parts to redo fix up cars and all this other stuff they're really taking the whole you know trying to make you actually survive the game and that's where I, I think it's more interesting in because DayZ, the zombies in DayZ are just more like an, a nuisance than anything. They don't really right. do anything. They don't. They really don't bother you. Uh, the mod is is just as bad. I mean, in a mod, in the mod, you can go hide in trees at one point, and the zombies couldn't even attack you. Um, uh, it's just it's just weird. It's just really weird. Like H one Z one is really offering a lot more, but yet though the loyalists behind DayZ, which they can. You know, do what they want. They have their ever right to do that. They want to support Daisy. They can. I do. I love Daisy. I've been playing it nonstop since it's been released. But it's just weird. I, I'm just like, shouldn't you be excited because this game is offering the almost the exact same thing Daisy is offering, but it's going to be a lot farther ahead with a bigger supporting team behind it. You yeah. know, and it could be I, free. I can see a I can see a, a point for sure on both sides. Uh, I guess to me. You know, while I don't see much of a need, as long as it's not an oversaturation of the market for these types of games, then choice isn't a bad thing. Yeah, I mean, so I guess that's that's overall what my attitude is. Is I'm I'm curious. Uh, it sounds like it's got some interesting ideas. So hopefully, when it comes out or as it gets closer, they'll release some more information and uh, hopefully enough to get us excited for it. It should be, and like you just said, it's as long as it's not just taking the market by storm. Uh, there's been a lot of, you know, dummy DayZ games to come out, and they have failed miserably. Yeah. Um, I've played, I purchased one, and I didn't like it. Uh, Rust, which was a very popular game, we try to drive that whole aspect of you versus zombies, but then they couldn't support it, and they just made it, a, you know, a, a PvP survival game with the same kind of aspects. Um, yeah. But I mean, you're right. It, I mean, but DayZ needs competition. It needs something to help drive the community to to put something behind it. Well, that's it, where I'm more. It also, I mean, if Daisy is going to become what it, people think it is, they haven't done with anything with it since launch, right? Uh, there hasn't been any massive, massive Daisy news. There's, since there's launch been and... constant uh, micro upgrades. Yeah, yeah okay. that's basically I'm, what it is. I'm, I'm not, I don't play DayZ, and I, I mean, I do follow gaming news. I mean, fuck, I'm on a gaming podcast. It'd be pretty bad, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, there isn't, there isn't like you know shocking like oh big daisy announcement it just kind of seemed like it it was all this big push 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 and then all of a sudden it just kind of seemed to want to come out and people were buying the, the pre-alpha or alpha whatever it's called and and been playing it it just kind of seemed to lost a little bit of steam so it it's kind of like it's it's with h1z1 now being you know the developers are, are are doing live streams and the community is actually getting input on the game during live streams which i think is amazing you know, yeah. like they're naming towns and they're, and they, they, you know, there was one uh, live stream where the fellow was building a base that's going to be in the game and the community on the Twitch feed was telling them how to build it, where they wanted this and that. So, I mean, the way they're interacting with the community is, is really cool. Like that's one part of, of the H1Z1 that I find really interesting is just the yeah. way they're interacting with the community. But I mean, until it comes in on, on console, I'll probably not play it on PC unless I get a new PC soon. Well, like, just like I said, uh, they haven't announced it if it is going to come out on console or when it's going to come out on console. Uh, it could be, you know, like the day it comes out on PC or it could be a few months to a year down the road. They haven't yeah. said anything quite yet. It's still very raw. When they even announced the game, it was more like spontaneous. It really wasn't too, like, anything over the top. Like, they didn't have, like, a press conference or anything like that. It was just small. And then it just grew steam. And then as it was growing, people were bashing it. And I was like, you know, you don't need to do that. The game hasn't even been talked about a whole bunch, and it could be better, or it could be just as good, or it could be worse. Who knows? Yeah. Too early to tell. It, that's what I'm trying to say. It was that it was just too early to tell. You shouldn't, yeah. you know. 
But then okay. again, I'm a, kind of those people that like to see and wait before I like to talk. Stalker. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so you just need to tell the gaming community just to just to sit back and relax and don't be so negative. Yeah, H- yeah. Uh, Daisy's already secured their spot. I, I, they've made, you know, I think I, I don't know how many uh, copies they they right. made. They've made a ton of money since Alpha because people were buying it, and I do believe it's still at the at the top of the Steam yeah. charts. Top I'm, sellers. I'm, yeah. Top sellers. I'm looking at it, it now. Is. Yeah. So it has been. All right, so uh, we'll move on then. So H1, Z1, and DayZ, uh, something to keep an eye on here in the future. Um, all right, so we're going to move on to our last segment here, and we're going to close it down after that. Uh, this is a segment we call uh, Games I Need to Play, and this is for everybody. So this section is for us to talk about, um, could be upcoming games, it could be games that just came out, or maybe something that you just couldn't get to, fell by the wayside, etc. cetera. Um, just something that... Um, each one of us is interested in playing. So hopefully for each episode, this will be a different game for each of us. And uh, uh, Chad, go ahead and start us off with uh, what you're looking at. Uh, we just, re- just got released. There was a, there was a, uh, a kind of a dev kit available or dev game available. It's called Spin Tires. Um, there's lots of YouTube videos um, out on it. There's people playing it and uploading a lot of content. It's, it's not a typical simulator. It's not a typical uh, driving game. It's uh, it's still, in my opinion, from the from the gameplay I've watched and some comments of some people are playing it. It still needs a little improvement. It's actually full release, but it's still more almost more like a not really a beta, but almost like a still needs some fine polishing. But spin tires is you're driving like old Russian trucks through the Russian countryside. Um, there's five five maps or six maps available at launch i could be wrong could be before but um you drive trucks and you gotta like maneuver through like deep mud and water you gotta cross rivers and the point of the game is to unlock the map like there's cloaking points you can't see the map so you gotta try to drive and negotiate areas in the map that you can't see roads and then you gotta once you do that, then you have then you can see the map. And then you can go and pick up lumber, and you gotta transport it through this fucking train that will like get your truck stuck. And you have to like use winches to winch yourself out of the mud. You have to maybe go get another truck and tow yourself out of the mud. You need there's fuel trucks. There's like the game is a lot of cool things. <laughs> it's uh, it you know it's uh, just my opinion is if you really want to know what it's about and and you really want to watch it, go check out some YouTube videos on spin tires. I think it's great, and I can't wait to uh, to pick it up and play it. Sounds like a lot of trucks. All right. <laughs> uh, so, Brian, what are you uh, what are you looking at? Trucks. Uh, I've been hearing so many people talk about Game Dev Tycoon. I know Cody, you've been playing the piss out of it. Yep. And uh, I think you played it too, Chad. Yep, yeah, I, I played it. Yep. Couch, our good buddy Couch, he's been playing it. So I play it. Here, oh yeah, you're playing it. Damn it. It's everybody I'm but you, buddy. One. I'm, I'm that guy. I'm the guy who hasn't watched any footage or played it. I haven't watched any videos on it. But I have it. I downloaded it tonight. I'm going to try it out. And uh, I suppose I should also add The Last of Us because I have not watched a single moment of video. I, I have not, nothing. Other than screenshots, I have no idea about that. Oh, yeah, that's right. You didn't even pick it. up The Last of Us for the PlayStation nothing. 3. No experience. Wow, I'm, I totally forgot in. about that. I'm coming yeah. in clean, but see, I get to experience in PS4. <laughs> wow, you I am greatness so for the envious first time. of you. Yeah, you know, I was like, ugh. This, this is one of my favorite things to say about The Last of Us. The only bad thing about the game, after beating it, is knowing I'll never get to play it again for the first time. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Totally, 100%. That's what I hear, Man. so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoop it up. I mean, I don't know that I'll get it on day one. Oh, you need to. Uh, well, I mean, Destiny Beta is going to be rocking. No. Well, actually, no, it'll probably be over by then. Yeah, I don't know. I might, I might scoop it up. I think I can get it in. The Destiny, I, the I Destiny Beta... The Destiny Beta finishes on the 27th, and you got to get Last of Us on the 29th. Yeah. So I get two days to sleep, and then I get to play Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, really, I really cannot suggest it enough. It's uh, it's really one of those games, and I really hate using the phrase, and I hate hearing it, but it's, it's to me, like, once in a lifetime. that It really just, it was flawless. Oh, yeah. Wait, well, you got to look at the studio behind it, too. Right. I mean, it does help that you know Naughty oh, Dog. Track record, of course. Yeah, 
Uh, oh yeah. So. Any anything from Naughty Dog, I'm I'm giving a, I'm gonna give it a a a, a good you know I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, well, I think uh, yeah, they haven't been giving me a reason to not play their games yet. That's true. With yeah, uh, especially totally, with the uh, Uncharted coming out uh, totally next year. Forgot Dude. that you hadn't played it at all. Man. Yeah, I mean, I haven't watched any YouTube, no live streams, literally no screenshots, and that is it. You're, yeah, that's the way to go. You gotta go into it not knowing uh, anything, man. I, so I just, good. you're a child. I mean, you you have kids. That first scene, though. Oh God. Easy now. Easy. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna give away. I mean, it's just. Whew. I don't even have kids that that pull that some strings. Yeah. yeah, you need to stop talking right now because Sorry. you're in spoiler territory. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's just too good. It's just too good. So it's, it's just it's yeah, too we'll good. Power. It is too good. It's hard not to talk about the game when people start it's talking true. about it. All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, that's going to finish up games I need to play, which is our final section here. So we're going to close this podcast down. I mean, I mean, you guys aren't going to tell us what games you and Ryan need to play or. Yeah. Oh, there is that, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Our host is starting to fail at this. Uh, this this isn't sorry. split screen. This is four player co-op, son. <laughs> yeah, <I guess. laughs> oh. I don't know. It's it's uh, so much failing around me. It just rubbed off. So, all right. Uh, so, uh, I'll take the next rub, one. Then. Rub uh, one. What? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I'll take the next one. the The game that I'm looking forward to that that I'm really excited about here on the horizon is The Order, uh, 1886. It looks incredible. It looks absolutely stunning right now from the. Uh, Recent gameplay footage that they released, we saw a few minutes of that uh, from what they showed at E3. It just it looks crazy good. I think the uh, the whole concept the whole concept looks great, and um, it's going to be exciting to play another type of horror survival game with a uh, really unique setting. So um, right now we still haven't seen too much, so there's definitely more time to learn more about this game but for now from the little that i do know about it and from the little that i've seen i am hugely impressed and can't wait to see more so, damn uh, the club yeah knowing the club mm-hmm. i've All been right. interested in that since they first showed the little tiny bit of it back ages ago yeah that first yeah. Tra- that first little trailer at e3 i'm like oh i want to play that game there's <laughs> <laughs> a trailer i'm like right? i want to play that game so yeah so after seeing some of the gameplay footage that's come out yeah um odds that's tops of my list as well all right, so Ryan, shut us down here. What's yours? Uh, mine is The Wolf Among Us. Uh, it's been out for a little while. Uh, if you don't know, it's by Telltale, who um, actually releases their games in episodes, like TVs, like TV episodes. And I've always been interested in their games. I haven't played any of them. Uh, they did The Walking Dead, and I've I heard was nothing. I was say, are the same guys that did The Walking Yeah, they do The Walking games. Dead, okay. yeah. And th- from what I've been told, it's like a very fantastic game it's it's very unique um and i've been interested in it and i've never really just got up to you know the momentum to actually go and play the games uh but there's episode five was just recently released and i'm pretty sure here shortly it probably be added to you know probably a sale or something like that where i can get all uh five episodes for a pretty decent price um, I've heard nothing but good news. I've seen some people doing live streams of the games. Uh, it's a very interesting take. Um, and I, I'm pretty excited for it, especially because of Telltale. I mean, they do some pretty interesting stuff. They got a Borderlands coming out uh, version of one soon, so which will be interesting. Um, yeah, Gladys won't play that. Yeah, That's I know yay. that. <laughs> I, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't know much, much about The Wolf Among Us and uh, uh, the, uh, the Walking Dead series. I'm, I'm kind of looking... I. I don't know. People keep seeing how good it is, and I don't know. I've never That's... seen much or played much of it, so I don't know. Yeah, I have a hard time believing in hype. I'm a more of a, uh, I'll you know, if I see it for myself, I'm a, kind of believe it. Uh, I don't follow the hype train. Uh, but I've I've seen gameplay. I've you know nothing but good news, uh, good reviews, good ratings. Uh, the game looks good, and everything seems to be pretty stable. So I mean. I'll probably pick it up here pretty soon if it comes out on a you know a, a sale or something on a Steam sale or on the PSN network or something along those lines. Which there's no doubt, and we get tons of free stuff on the PlayStation Network. Yeah, yeah, right. Might so. see something there. Yeah, might see something there. All right, so that's gonna do it. Um, finally, calling it right there. <clears throat> okay, so um, 
that's going to do it for our first episode here of Four Player Co-op Live. Uh, I want to thank everybody for joining us, everybody for listening. Uh, and, of course, make sure that you guys, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Our email is going to be the four player podcast at gmail.com. Uh, we'll have links in a uh, YouTube page, and uh, we'll be live streaming through Twitch. The Twitch account is Four Player Co op Live. Um, so just keep an eye out for us. All our information will be out there and easily accessible. So just do a search for us, and you'll find us. And uh, again, thanks everybody for joining us, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Later. See ya. Doodles.